Good day. Uh, my name is Brian from QuantLabs.net. What I'm about to show you is quite uh, interesting. Um, as some of you may know, I have uh, done a bit of about a face in uh, technology infrastructure here. Uh, right now, I'm looking at some open source solutions for uh, quant trading purposes. Uh, right now, I have built uh, a new virtual machine using uh, Oracle VM VirtualBox, which is originally from Sun. Also, uh, I've created a VM or a virtual machine uh, in CentOS 6, which is 100% compatible with Red Hat, um, which a lot of um, banks use. Um, so it's, it's a pretty good option. Um, and uh, what I'm about to show you is uh, I've got R installed on this VM, as well as a uh, what they call an integrated development environment uh, for R. Uh, if, I, it looks fairly new, but it looks really solid called uh, R Studio. So I'm going to show you that as well. I'm fairly brand new to R. Um, I've set up everything here. Um, I'll provide the links on how to do the R install on CentOS. As it's not an easy. Uh, I mean, it's easy. You just got to be. It's, it's a bit time consuming. Uh, also, um, this is my preferred uh, Linux version to work with versus something like an Ubuntu or whatnot. But for now, I got this built for R. Um, and also, uh, let me just uh, talk about some other stuff in in the uh, in a little bit. So right now I've opened up a um, a, a terminal. Um, so uh, right now I just uh, I'm going to pull up my R version, uh, and there you go. It's R version 2.15. Let me quit out. So before you install your R Studio, you do need to install R. Um, but to get R Studio, it's it's very simple. Once you download it. Um, from rstudio.org and choose the correct um, flavor of R Studio for your whatever Linux, Mac, Windows, it does run on any of them. So if you're familiar with MATLAB, this is what the, the uh, GUI looks like, the front end of the uh, product for R Studio. Again, this is open source, 100% free. Everything I'm showing you is free, including the VirtualBox and the CentOS. So that's the nice thing about all this type of open source model stuff. Um, so I'm fairly new to R, so forgive me if I do stupid stuff here, but uh, I'm doing, uh, I'm just going to create a little uh, vector that I learned uh, yesterday, um, and let me just show you some cool things uh, with it. So right now, you got your console, your command line, you have your workspace right here, um, and it's very similar, I mean it's not exactly like MATLAB, but compared to something like what I worked with last year, which was pretty horrendous for me was uh, R Commander. Um, I like this one. Because of uh, this capability of R Studio, it enables me to um, kind of do very what I things I, I, I used to well I do with with MATLAB but um, this this is really killer stuff. Now let me talk about the R Studio. Um, the R Studio what led me to switch over from MATLAB were uh, two things. Um, the licensing obviously is a big one. Uh, licensing to pay two, three thousand dollars is not a huge deal for me, but once you start getting into clustering or any GPU, blah blah blah, the uh, the um, toolboxes get very expensive. So let's say you want sixty uh, for uh, workers using the um, MATLAB Paralyze uh, um, toolbox, it's going to run you. God, man, fifty, hundred thousand dollars. So it was an exorbitant expense that I didn't really want to go down. So when I started looking at clustering, um, Hadoop came up. I'll do a demo of Hadoop once I get that working. Um, and uh, also, I came across this R Hadoop as well, which enables you to do everything you can. Well, pretty well, from what I understand. Same thing what you can do with MATLAB, but use it on R. Okay, so I guess the second part of this video due to a uh, laptop malfunction, meltdown on these laptop from uh, garbage, uh, Acer, do not recommend them. Anyways, uh, second part, uh, I was talking about MATLAB um, with uh, R and R Studio. Um, obviously, I was talking about the MATLAB uh, exorbitant expenses and licensing fees. Uh, going with this option, uh, performance from what I've seen are pretty well the same. Zero dollar investment. You have all source code, so you have more control over. I mean, the support might not be there, but that's okay. Um, 
and um, I'm just more and more becoming more comfortable with uh, open source R, uh, and I'll be uh, probably doing some demos on uh, R Hadoop, Hadoop itself, as well as um, some Java stuff. I'm also looking at um, uh, a, a new, well it's not new, but I call it more of an abandoned uh, open source project for uh, Java for high frequency trading versus what I was originally going to go with. Uh, I'm going to try to give it, put it through its paces. I fairly know it fairly well from uh, many years ago. So um, keep your eyes out uh, on some other demos. Um, but uh, this is a good demo for uh, a starting of, off with uh, R um, in R Studio. It makes things happen versus, as I said, with uh, R Commander over and out.